Hey guys, even here and yesterday at the Emperor Cup Spain, William Bonac ended up winning the show. Who thought? Me, I did not. In one of my previous videos, I said that uh, William Bonac is definitely not gonna win this show. I said he was gonna place third, but he proved me wrong, so I owe him an apology. And I also said something about Nick's strength and power, who actually had William Bonac winning this show. And apparently he was right and I was wrong. I said it, he knows nothing about bodybuilding and that's why he's choosing William Bonac as the front runner. And apparently the guy was right. So I admit I owe him an apology as well. Now, as far as William Bonac winning, do I think this should have happened? Well, let's talk about this. So William Bonac brought really good conditioning to this stage and also pretty good fullness as well. There were a couple of things wrong about his physique, like that bump on the glute, like one lat completely missing, like the separation in the right quad was also gone. His arms and shoulders and chest were down in size compared to William Bonac at his best. He lost a lot of fullness in that upper body, from the front especially, but whatever was left of his physique with this conditioning and this fullness, this peak that his coach, Stefan Kinzel, brought out of William Bonag, it was enough, I guess, to win this show. Did he deserve to win? Did somebody else deserve to win? We're gonna talk about that in a second, because I don't think he was a clear-cut winner, and neither do the judges. This was actually a one-point victory. As you can see, William Bonag had four points in pre-judging and finals, and Becherus Dabani had five at the pre-judging and also five at the finals. However, at the finals, Behrus Tabani showed up much tighter. He was definitely a lot sharper, a lot fuller as well, a lot harder. Definitely improved. I thought he was winning at the finals for sure, but at the pre-judging it was close, if you ask me. Did William Bonac win this on his name, on his reputation? Well, that's up to debate. We're gonna check out the other posts. We're gonna try to analyze and see if this was right, if there was a robbery. But as far as Nick's strength and power, his prediction was right. Whether he thought it was because of William's reputation or for whatever reason, he still ended up uh, being right. And I am wrong. And it's funny that Nick's strength and power was wrong about so many things so many times. And this is the one time I decided to criticize him on my channel. And he ends up being right. <laughs> I mean, what are the chances of that, man? Anyways, I apologize to Nick, but do I think he actually knows a lot about bodybuilding? Does he actually understand bodybuilding and the judging and the physiques and everything? I can't say I do, man. He was right this one time, but honestly, like, yeah, I apologize to him, but really, I mean, the reason he said that William Bonac is gonna win was because of his reputation, because he knows that William Bonac, you know, he, he was the runner-up at the Mr. Olympia, he was second at the Mr. Olympia, guys, and he won the Arnold Classic twice, so even if he's not at 100%, he still has big chances of winning, and me saying that he has no chance of winning it was, it was a bold prediction, but I tried, I thought it was gonna happen that way, he really didn't look as good as he did on stage in his update photos and videos. His physique started to decline before he retired, and a couple of years later, he looked like he got back, like the conditioning, the fullness, the hardness, but there were so many things wrong about his physique, and they were still there on the stage, but because of how well he peaked, you couldn't even notice them. He managed to hide them with his perfect conditioning, basically, and perfect fullness and hardness. Like, the, the right leg that has a, that lost all the separation was not that big of an issue. The loss of size in the arms and the chest, the fullness, uh, like, the, the lats and stuff, like, it still wasn't that noticeable, and it wasn't hurting him that much because he just peaked perfectly. And again, as far as Nick's strength and power, I mean, yeah, I apologize, but if I'm being completely honest, I think he just got lucky. Because who knew that Krizio was gonna be completely off? And I don't think it's simply body fat percent, like conditioning problem with Krizio. I think he messed up his peak week really badly. Because look at his abdominal control at this show. This was never a problem with Krizio. I think he just overcarbed way too heavily. So his stomach was hanging out and his conditioning was just, he was too smooth, he was too watery. He's gonna compete again at the Portugal Pro, and if both these guys do the show, I am sure Krizio will win it. I'm sure he's gonna fix this issue. 
I don't think he was just not lean enough. I think it was simply a peak week problem. If Krizia was at his 100% the way he was last year at this show, he would win. He would win for sure. But he couldn't win like this. There was no chance of him winning like this. This was definitely not conditioned enough. This was definitely missed, completely missed the mark. So he was marked down two spots. If he was 100%, he would have won this show. As far as Becker Stabani, I still had him winning. I am not saying it was an obvious robbery. I can see arguments for Bona winning because he was so perfectly conditioned. But in my eyes, Becker's did look better. And I thought they probably gave it to Bonac because of his reputation. I mean, he definitely had an advantage in terms of reputation. Now, let's check out the poses once again. This was at the finals much, much closer than at the pre-judging, because backers improved dramatically. Uh, as you can see, front double, I mean, it's a toss-up. Backers' slags uh, didn't really match his upper body, so that's a, that's an issue, but, you know, he had a more, uh, more aesthetic, more classic-looking physique, which is something the judges are looking for these days, but Bonek was definitely more detailed. Uh, his midsection, as you can see, is wider, the waist is wider, Side chest, the axe taper, and the flow of the physique are definitely in Becker's favor, but be my guest, tell me what do you think, it's close, that's for sure. Bonek looked great in the side poses, aside from that glute bump that was weird, it was the reason why, one of the reasons why a big Rami plays so low, so I thought it's gonna affect him, but apparently it didn't. From the side, he could manage a lot of his weaknesses, he was very detailed, probably more detailed and polished than Becker Stabani, but... In my opinion, it was still very, very close. Inside chest, back lat spread, also very, very close. Back double bicep, probably even closer. As you can see, Bonek had probably more details, but the stature, the shape, back cruise, in my opinion. But let's say it's a tie. Side tricep, very close. And front lat spread, extremely close as well. I would go with Becker's because he has better shape, nicer flow, but Bonac has crazy details, crazy density and hardness. So all these poses are extremely close. What about the last two poses? Like absent eyes? Do you think this pose was close? Do you think William Bonac got this pose? Come on, come on, it wasn't even remotely close. I mean, Becker's destroyed him in this one. Bonac did not destroy Becker's in any of the poses. Not like this, man. Not even close. Backrose's waist and the flow of the physique, how aesthetic it is, the conditioning as well, the details everywhere, the abs, the separation in the abs, I mean, the size of the waist and the axe frame, not even close. Not even close. He killed him in this one. And as far as most muscular, same thing. Same thing, guys. Bonek, back in his day when he was at his best, he was killing everybody in this most muscular, in this variation in particular. He was so good, he was so big and so full in the shoulders, chest and arms. It wasn't even funny, but <laughs> look at Becker's here, compare him to Bonek. He crushed him, he destroyed him in this one. So, Becker's destroys Bonek in two poses and the other six, it's super close. So, how does Bonek win this? I guess because of his conditioning and details and better legs, even though his leg, his one leg was definitely a lot different than the other, there was an obvious asymmetry, still his legs were big and full and Becker still needs to work on his legs, so I guess that's one thing and maybe he was a little bit uh, harder and more detailed, but still overall I thought Becker was gonna win this. I thought it was close, but in my eyes, Backers was winning. However, William Bonek still ended up winning. So again, I apologize to him for doubting him. He still did enough. This, I mean, can this be top 10 at the Mr. Olympia? That's a big question. I mean, yeah, I guess. I think both of these guys can be top 10 at the Mr. Olympia. But can Bonek be second at the Mr. Olympia again? Against Nick, against Derek, against Samson, against Hadi? No, I mean, I said that he has no chance of winning this show, and I was wrong, so maybe I'm wrong about him and Mr. Olympia, but no, no, come on, guys, let's be real here. This show, I mean, with Krizia off, with only one basically new guy, Bechros, who was never at the Mr. Olympia, uh, it wasn't that difficult to win. As far as the Mr. Olympia, I don't see William Bonek, I don't see him in top 7 or top 8. Top 10, best case scenario. If... 
the other guys are on and now with Nick Walker included, it's gonna be very difficult for him to crack the top 10. Because this is far from Bonac at his best, but it was enough to win this show apparently. And as far as Nick's strength and power, once again, yeah, I apologize for saying that he doesn't know what's gonna happen at this show, but overall, as far as analyzing the physiques, I mean, it's one thing trying to predict something, the other thing is, you know, watching Big Remy at the Mr. Olympia when he was tossed to the side because he looked worse than everybody, and saying that he looks so much better than everybody, that, that that's the reason why they put him to the side, and he's gonna win the Mr. Olympia, stuff like that, guys, it happened multiple times, not that bad, but that was one instance, Overall, I do think Nick doesn't have really the passion for bodybuilding, as far as this show, I think he got a little bit lucky, but still, he was right, I was wrong, and it is what it is. I thought William Bonek was done, but apparently not just yet, so I apologize to him as well, as far as him deserving to win this show, I mean, yeah, I can see it. I'm not saying it's a clear-cut robbery, but I would still go with Becker's. Whatever you guys think, tell me down below in the comment section. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. For more content like this, guys, subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon. All the best and bye-bye.